Okay, so this is an update video as of October 2023, which shows you how to regress back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. So you've installed Windows 11, you don't like it, something's not working, and you need to go back to Windows 10. Now, I can't stress this enough, you need to do this within the first 10 days. And if you use cleanup tools or you've cleaned your system up, then you might have already removed that possibility of going back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. But all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So you want to uninstall Windows 11 and go back to Windows 10. Now, first of all, you must make sure it's been no more than 10 days since you upgraded to Windows 11. After 10 days, that facility is removed and there's no way of going back. Also, if you use cleanup tools or you've used the system cleanup, then there's a good possibility you may have removed or corrupted the installation files that were there from Windows 10 originally. So again, there may be no way back but here's how you can tell whether or not you've still got the option to go back to Windows 10 and here's how you do it. So all you do is you just click on the start button just down there, click on settings. If you can't see settings, then just on your keyboard, type the word settings and then hopefully under best match after a few seconds, you should see settings app. Move your mouse over that, left click once, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure that system is highlighted. So left click once on system and then scroll down the right hand side till you get to recovery, left click once. And then here, if your system will allow you to go back to Windows 10, there is a go back just there under recovery options. Now, if that's grayed out or it's not there, then unfortunately either 10 days has passed or something's corrupted the recovery files for Windows 10 and there's no way of going back directly. The only way you can restore back to Windows 10 is to grab your Windows 10 reinstallation media, back up all your files, all your settings, all your usernames, passwords, make sure you've got software to reinstall and then reboot from your installation media and reinstall your system as a fresh. Now I should say also before you hit this go back, if you've got anything important on your PC, make sure that you've got a backup of it because it's quite a big thing to go back for the system. And if anything goes wrong, you could find yourself with a system that doesn't boot at all. Very rare, but it can happen. Make sure if there's anything important, then make sure you've got it backed up. Also make sure you've got installation media to enable you to reinstall programs or apps. Make sure that you've got usernames and passwords if you need to reset up your emails or you need to log into something again like Facebook, X, or even log into things to re-download software that you may have purchased so that you can reinstall it. Make sure that you've got everything organized before you hit that go back button, just in case the worst should happen. Like I say, it rarely does, but it can still happen. So that's why we always say back up. So when you're sure that you want to go back to Windows 10, click on the go back button there. And here we go. So it says go back to Windows 10, getting things ready. This won't take long. Now, normally when you see this won't take long from Microsoft, it will take a long time. I don't know why they put this won't take long when they know it's going to take a while. So as you can see, the spinny balls are going round and here we go. It asks, why are you going back? So give a, a valid answer here. Um, I'm going to say, for instance, my apps and devices don't work on Windows 10 and I'm going to tick Windows 10 seemed easier to use and I'm going to tick Windows 10 seemed faster and Windows 10 seemed more reliable and I'm just going to click next. So it says here, check for updates. Before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problems you're having. Well, you can click on check for, check for updates there, see if that fixes the problem. But if it doesn't, repeat these steps and then go back to no thanks just there and click on no thanks. So it says here what you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it has finished. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes made to settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. Are your files backed up? This shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. So there you go. Even Microsoft is telling you 
to make sure that you're all backed up. So if you're all backed up and you're happy about this still, you agree with those statements, then move your mouse over next, left click once. And there you go, it says, don't get locked out. If you used a password to sign into Windows 10, make sure you know it. You won't be able to sign in without it. So if you was using a password to log into Windows 10 and you've now changed it to a pin or you've removed that password, Basically, the system's going to go back to what it was when you had Windows 10 installed. So if you've changed anything to do with the way you log in, then it will regress back to how you logged in before you made those changes when you was using Windows 10 a few days ago. So move your mouse over next, left click once if this is OK. And there you go. One final chance to keep you on Windows 11. Thanks for trying Windows 11. If you end up missing improved search, security and startup, come back to Windows 11 anytime. So if you want to stay with Windows 11 now, this is your last chance. Click on cancel. But if you're happy still to go back to Windows 10, then move your mouse over, go back to Windows 10, left click once and then the system will restart and it could restart a few times. So there you go. It says updates are underway. Please keep your computer on. So best thing to do right now is to walk away from your PC because it's going to take some time and at times it's going to look as though nothing's happening. So there you go. The computer's now restarting and uh, like I say, it's going to do a few bits. So just be patient at this stage. Do not attempt to, to turn your PC off. Do not attempt to unplug it from the mains. Do not attempt to disrupt the downgrade, because if you do that, I can guarantee you, you will almost certainly lose your system. You will. So as you can see now, the screen's gone black and uh, hopefully in a few seconds, it should now start restoring Windows 10. But like I say, this is going to take a while. So please, please, please be patient with it. And as I say, if you're the type of person that's impatient and likely to start trying to meddle with things, if it looks like nothing's going on, then please walk away now. Walk away, come back in two hours time and hopefully everything should have been restored and you'll, you'll, be, <laughs> you'll resist the temptation of trying to uh, to fiddle with things. So there you go. As you can see, the spinny circle is spinning around. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But obviously, if you've got a slow PC, then uh, it's going to take longer than a, a, a nice zippy PC like mine is. So as you can see, it's saying restoring your previous version. I'm going to just leave it here for the moment. We're going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it a little bit later on. OK, so that restoring message disappeared. The computer is now rebooting and as I can see I've got the Windows 10 logo now on mine that hasn't taken very long that was literally under 10 minutes I think on mine so uh, it didn't take very long at all but it might take longer on PCs that perhaps have the older hard disk drives the mechanical drives it's going to take a lot lot longer so we're just booting up just as if we was back on Windows 10, although slightly bigger spinny balls at the moment. Obviously, it's just resetting things up. So uh, again, I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's at the next phase. OK, so as you can see now, it's just saying, please wait. And we're now logging back into Windows 10. So that didn't take very long at all, really, on my system. It did look, a lot, look as though it hung for a little while there, but it hadn't. It was still restoring. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can regress back from Windows 11 to Windows 10 if you're within the 10 day period and if nothing has corrupted the Windows 10 reinstallation files. I hope you like this video and if it helped you out, please consider donating to this channel. Hit that thanks button or if you're unable to do that and you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description down below. We've got some great deals from you. Donating or buying through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.